Welcome to SEO Basics. Today we're going to talk about the steps you can take to optimize a web page for organic search ranking. My name is Jeffrey Raskoff and this lecture is for my internet marketing class at West Valley College. First off, what is organic search? Organic search is defined as a website ranking in a search engine that is not paid. We'll be concentrating in Google search for this talk. I know there are a lot of other search engines but Google is the most popular. So some of the terms we need to know before you uh, start an SEO. First off is the index, is what Google describes as a database of all the websites it knows of. To find websites, Google uses something called a crawler. And the crawler is software that crawls the internet, fetches pages from the web, and stores them in the index. Google calls their crawler Googlebot, so it's just a generic term of the Google's uh, software. And again, I use the word SEO in the title here. SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization. It's the process of making your website better for search engines. So we're going to go over a few steps that we can do to our website to get it into the Google search. So in this case, uh, there is a link here to a good overview about how Google um, Put your website into its index so I highly recommend watching that video first off how to get a higher ranking in search engines so the first step is to see if your site is inside of Google so uh, the site I have here is this example right here is zircon.com this is a, a company that I do the marketing for and um, maintain the website for so you know if you look here I just typed in the web address into the Google and made sure that it comes up so it is ranking and Google has been reading and indexing this page second um, probably the most important thing is is the quality content and what that means is is the content real content I think one of the problems that uh, the internet is full of uh, fake content or um, you know especially me I sell a product and so a lot of companies or people will try and make a website that's around my content to try and get it ranked so that they can try and sell my product um, and so the quality of the content uh, is very important but the main thing we're going to talk about today for this uh, talk will be what you can do to the web page to get it to rank and so these are the main topics that you can do and these are things that you type into your HTML code or um, content management system uh, the first one is called the title tag. That's usually when you do a web search, you can see here, uh, that's the first text that kind of shows up right here. Okay, the big bold text. This is the title tag. The words that you use in this title tag are important. Then the second is the description tag, which is the, ter the text that's underneath a web search here. And it's usually written in sentence form. Then the alt tags are uh, tags that are used for describing words so you can see there's photos that are popping up here and what words are used to describe these photos next is the content of the page is it well written Google really likes a lot of text on a page because uh, you know well written text it'll rank a little higher and then the last thing is the file name or the permalink in Yoast and so that that is the actual words that are of the files the HTML files that you save so as you can see here, that would be um, right here along the actual um, um, text um, in, the, in the ranking. So before you start coming up with how to write the keywords um, or write the title tag or the description tag, you really need to have some keywords. And what are keywords? Well, keywords are the words that Google uses to uh, rank your website. So. Um, Probably the best way to find good words to use for marketing is to just do a Google search. So I pretty much go to Google almost every day and type in some of my product names or type in some of the terms that relate around my product and I see what other people are using. Um, again, you know, finding words that are historic for me are very important. So my product is called a stud finder. So that is what I would consider a historic word. And I type that in pretty much every day as well, just to see, you know, who is ranking for that word. 
Next is you want to use key phrases. And so we're not talking about uh, one word, right? Nobody goes into Google and types in one word. So when we talk about coming up with words for marketing, you want to be able to have key phrases. So these are words that are combined together. I usually use product name, my company name and the product name together. Or if it's like finding a wall stud, then you would use finding wall stud and so on. So, you know, key phrases is what you should do. Uh, Google also has research tools and there's a lot of other keyword tools out there. So uh, whenever you're using Google, if you have a Google account, you can use something called Google AdWords, which is software that will, it, Google will show you what are the important words, how many people are typing in those words, and uh, where is the ranking of those words. Next is to make a list of the top 10 words. Usually I come up with at least 10, probably more. And then I'll use those words throughout my um, tags. So you have a title tag, a description tag, the alt tag, and the content of the page. And you reuse those words several times on your page to have Google rank it in organic search. And then my last point for as far as keywords, I like using um, location words and what I mean by that is when I'm writing key phrases sometimes I actually use location like uh, uh, like if you have a dog walking business you might write in San Jose dog walking as one of your key phrases and because people that often search on location right so I tend to use that as my um, key phrase as well okay let me do a quick demo on Google of how I do my keyword research so in this case, again, um, I work at a company called Zircon, and so a lot of what I do is I, ser I search words that are related to our products. Probably uh, the number one word that describes our products is called a stud finder. So that's kind of a generic term for our product, and so a lot of times I'll, I'll search that word and see what comes up. Um, mostly, you know, stores will come up. These are ads up here. Uh, what I'm looking for is the words that uh, our people are using to find uh, the products. So these, you know, so what makes a good keyword, of course, is, you know, what is making the number one link pop up. And notice for the first one is Home Depot here. And Home Depot has, of course, hand tools, stud finders. There's the word stud finder right there with an S, but that's okay. Then it says, of course, stud finders. Again, this is the title tag. I've been talking about that in my presentation. And then, of course, the description tag, and it also uses the word stud finders right here. And, you know, the reason why this probably shows up a lot more than my, my company website is that because Home Depot is a lot bigger corporation and a lot of people are linking to Home Depot and a lot of people are uh, are are you know using the Home Depot website so it's a lot more um, popular page on the internet and Google actually ranks websites according to how popular they are that is one of their uh, of one of their points that they have in um, in uh, in ranking and that's called the link popularity and so uh, that's why so again I would write some of these words down probably or at least take some screen grabs and so on so we're making a list of of uh, what makes good key phrases uh, again also I like in Google they have the question here how does a stud finder work very good there I like the word how stud finder um, and so on so those are good words there uh, of course Wikipedia is often uh, one of the links of, depending upon almost anything that you search Wikipedia will come up and what are they using of course I would write some of those words down and then um, a lot of these websites you'll find are actually Amazon affiliates and so they use a lot of words of course that like Amazon uses this would be an Amazon affiliate I believe right here and so on so we'll learn about some of those uh, uh, companies like Amazon affiliates a little bit later in the class and you might go to the second page and see what's on there and of course videos start popping up and I there's description tags and title tags and videos as well and I would also use those terms when I am uh, making my list of key phrases as well 
Uh, I like the word best right there. And then let's just do one more again. If I type in my company name without any products or anything and see if my company comes up, I actually do show up here. Uh, my my description tag's messed up right now, and 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 so on. This this needs some work. <laughs> Something I have to do this week. But uh, you'll notice that I also start looking at why these come up a lot of them are gems because zircon is a gem as you can see there but at least my company is coming up uh, rather high in the list for the word zircon so let's talk about the title tag for a moment again the title tag is probably the most important uh, tag for uh, ranking and again it's the bold big top uh, link that comes up whenever you do a, a organic search inside of Google uh, most title tags, and you can see the, uh, the, te the code here is in the head tag, in the head section of an HTML page. So it's not necessarily on the page itself. When we use the word title, it's actually above. It's, it's usually in the tab at the very top of the web browser there. But it's not necessarily the text that's on the page that is being displayed. Google typically displays the first 50 to 60 characters of a title tag. So again, I usually leave it kind of short. Uh, every web page is unique, so you should have a unique uh, title tag for each page. That way each page is ranked a little bit differently according to the content of that page. And another important point of title tags is you put the important keywords first. So if I'm trying to, and you can even see here, uh, here's an example of one of my uh, title tags. I use the word stud sensor, which is the product name. And then it's in a category called Stud Edge. It's an edge finder. So I put in Stud Edge Finder. And then my company name at the last, Zircon Corporation. So, you know, this is the important part. It's the product name. I put it first. And so on. Then, uh, of course, there's a TM for trademark for this. Um, uh, Google sometimes can get around it, but it also could be a problem. But, of course, my company wants the logo there. you got to really keep your trademark. So if you don't use your trademark symbol, other people can take your trademark. So we kind of have to do that for myself. But um, you might want to avoid that if you can. If you can. And then the last thing as far as writing a title tag, don't do keyword stuffing or repeat words. I wouldn't want to put a title that says stud finder, stud finder, zircon stud finder, best stud finder. Um, that would be too much word stuffing. Is Keyword stuffing is what Google would call it. So keep that in mind. The next is the description tag. And then the description tag is a tag that is used to describe the actual page itself. Uh, it's usually written in a, I would say, a sentence form. So here's the actual code up here. Again, this is written in the head section. You don't even see this on the website. Um, this is an example of a meta description. Uh, again, it's usually between 50 and 160 characters. You'll notice here even these examples that you see here in this uh, screen grab that I have that, you know, it'll actually start cutting off um, you know after a few characters as you can see here even Amazon has only one and a half lines here uh, my website only has one and a, a little bit more but some of them actually have more look at Lowe's has a whole bunch and and I you know I don't know why sometimes the, you know Google will let more and less you know uh, it just depends I'm not sure why they do that Make sure it's employed the keywords to be written in a sentence form, which means that you know people can read the um, description. It should be readable and not just a bunch of keywords stuffed together. Make each description unique for each page, and again, should be readable. The next one is called the alt tag. Uh, the alt tag is not really on the page itself but this is text that is written to go along with a picture so here's an example of an image source and the name of the um, file and then this alt tag and so this text is in the HTML code it functions alongside the image on the page it helps with the search engine ranking um, you know, it's not that super important as far as search engine ranking, but again, Google will read all the content of the page, uh, the Google bot, if you remember that's what it was called, the Google bot will read all the content of the page and then make a decision upon, you know, what category this should be ranked in. And so the index, uh, the, the alt tag should be factored into that as well. 
Uh, it should be short, uh, less than 125 characters. Again, you can add some keywords to it. Um, as you can see, here's an example from Wikipedia. And it sort of describes what the picture is. And of course, the most important thing is that it's important to web accessibility in that um, screen readers, if people cannot see the screen, it has to be read to them. And of course, a screen reader can't actually read the image itself. So uh, the screen reader will actually read the alt tag to the person who, who cannot see the picture. Very important. Let's talk about the well-written content. So again, Google is a uh, company that is based upon words, right? Everything you do, they sell words, they rank words, people search words. So a lot of the content of the page is very important and well-written content is important. So again, what Google will do is it will read the content of the page and try and match that to the title tag, the description tag, the file name, and all that together to give your page a ranking. And so um, here's an example. Um, Google likes the uh, big font size. So there's a, the biggest font size is called H1. And usually th that's this one here. If you look at my example here, it's at the very top of this page. And it kind of describes what this page is about, finding studs in lath and plaster walls. It's probably one of my highest ranking pages is this one. Uh, again, big bold text at the top of the page. Then writing text in short paragraph form, including some of your important key phrases like stud finders, stud finders, um, lath and plaster, walls. These are important words and you repeat them throughout and repeat the same words in the title description and the content of the page use synonyms of your key phrases as well things that are like the words that you are are marketing um, Google can take advantage of that as well and place content that's important towards the top of the page so the important keywords in your written content should be towards the top of the page again how to find studs in lath and plaster wall is searched a lot and this website ranks a lot or high in Google is what I meant by that. Last thing here is the actual web page file names. So what are the file names? Well, that's the name of the files that you save because Google will read the, the, the actual file name and then rank that as well. So uh, if you look here at this example, you'll notice that my server, it, because uh, the, the web pages are actually stored on computers and those computers have file names. So in this case, you'll notice uh, this is in a directory. The website is called zircon.com. But then there's a directory called tools, which would be like a folder on your computer. And then inside there is the product name. So this is actually the file name right here, multi-scanner L551 step is the actual file name. And so if somebody types in a, um, a word into Google, uh, with my product name, it will show up right here as ranking right here. Um, so the file names are important and you see uh, Amazon has file names here Lowe's has file names as well so in this case the file names are important to the ranking so they should all match the file name the title and the description and then the last thing uh, for this uh, this content is of course how to write these tags um, if you're using a content management system like WordPress which I use now uh, there is a plugin which is a software that you include into your content management system that allows you to write these um, write the the information in the title tag the description the file name and all those things can be written right into this plugin and then saved for um, the organic search so again these are the important things that you can use to uh, rank your website in Google organic search and uh, look for my next uh, lesson on how to um, write better content of your page.